Hello and welcome to Demo Reel. Uh, I got a special guest with me today, my friend Dylan. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me. Yep, uh, Dylan's actually been doing Let's Plays a lot longer than I have, and I'll, I'll link to his channel in the description. But today we're playing uh, PS2 one, which we haven't done a whole lot with the, the PlayStation 2 yet. Uh, mostly just because they don't they don't say on the front of them what games they have, but uh, we found a good one today. Yeah, we've got we got one with a few good games, and this is a character that pops up in a few of these these PS2 discs from uh, OPM, the official PlayStation magazine. I don't know. Uh, I guess she, I guess she's just here to tell us what like what else is on the disc because when they went to PS2 and they had more memory they started putting in all these like pseudo documentaries about games and like you see here they're, they're showing like motion capture and stuff like that and I don't know I guess if you were really into gaming and stuff this would be kind of interesting from my experience they aren't very good though uh, the, the little the little videos they have but they're um. Well, they're interesting. I'll give them that. I can't imagine a lot of people watch those. They probably just go straight for the playable demos. Yeah. Um, uh, not another programming <laughs> little yeah. joke here. This this character's a little bit uh, insufferable, but... Yeah, we've got our, our vault right here, and the, the games we got here is uh, Res, which was one of the drawing factors, and then Hot Shots Golf 3, uh, SSX Tricky, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, uh, and then a couple of videos we won't be watching, but let's go ahead and get into this with Rez here. Let's do it. And uh, I've played this game like once, I think. Okay, so what's your experience with this game? Like, what do you know about this game? And I can fill in the rest. It's music based, right? <laughs> okay, so it's like a, a third person rail shooter that okay. has a music element. Uh, basically, the, the actions you take correspond to different parts of the music, and as you defeat more enemies, it'll add more parts to the song until the full song is playing at the very end of the stage. That's essentially the idea. Okay, I just remember playing it in high school and thinking, this is kind of like frequency and like that, but not really. Um, yeah, so I think you, you got exposed to this game the same time I did, which was at a con, and that was like eight years ago, so I barely remember it from then. Uh, I've tried to play this game since on a Dreamcast emulator, but the, the emulator would just crash when I tried. I don't think that this game emulates very well. Uh, might have uh, gotten better since then. So yeah, you're going to want to lock on and shoot every uh, every target you see. Okay, yeah, alright, I'm... I'm getting it yeah. like not well but and as you're you're successfully doing things you're you're hearing sounds and there like really dramatic visual effects as well that go along with it uh, the the idea behind the game is that it's like a, a representation of synesthesia the like uh, yeah, you'll have to explain that. That's like uh, the substitution of one sensual experience for another like uh, perceiving sound as sight or vice versa. And so the game is all about the senses. Uh, in fact, if you if you bought this game, it came bundled with a vibrator. I, I think it's called the Trance Vibrator, and that's literally what it is. It's a it's a, a vibrator. It's a device that connects to your system by USB, and um, I think you're supposed to like sit on it or something. Yeah, I was going to uh, say is calling it a vibrator sound makes this game sound like it's, it's marketed focusing on as, other sens it's senses. It's marketed as a vibrator. Um, it, it, yeah, I don't think it's, like, intended for sexual use, but who knows. Um, but, like, if you want to talk about, like, you know, crazy senses, you can add a whole other level with that, I guess. But I, I'm not even sure exactly what I was trying to say there, but yeah. it sounds um, it sounds interesting, I'll say that. It's, it's an definitely... interesting concept. Yeah. So, like I mentioned, this is originally a Dreamcast game. Uh, it was ported here to the PlayStation 2. And uh, there's late, there would later be an Xbox 360 version, which is called Res HD. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I think that's a like marketplace downloadable only game. Uh, yeah, I've seen I've seen that uh, on my 360. I never got it or anything. So but... so the vibrator would be purely digital on that platform. <laughs> Clearly not the way to go. I'm I'm clearing through levels here though. I don't know like how I'm doing. Like I, I'm not sure exactly how to tell my score. Like there's an overdrive bar, but I don't know what that signifies. Yeah. Um, I don't remember either. Yeah, but I'm just I'm shooting the majority of these things I come across. Uh, I'm missing I'm missing a few here and there, but uh, I definitely like the like the the look of this. How like the the, the retro um, landscaping type 
it's very it. Tron. Yeah. And I, 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 I was trying not to say Tron, but yeah, Tron. it is very Tron. And I think the idea is that we're hacking into a computer system. If you watch... Oh, jeez, like, there's so many missiles. <laughs> if you watch, like, the top left part of the UI, it's like a command line. Oh, and, okay. uh, yeah, 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 I see. And as you're doing, it's like doing things, it's filling in text. Man, this would be really hard, even if I, like, knew what I was doing, I feel like. <laughs> um, I can't hit this thing. Um, I think you want to, like, mash that thing. Whenever there's a rainbow thing, yeah, you can, yeah. like, lock I'm, I'm just mashing lines. X this whole time anyway. <laughs> okay. In the hopes, like, that's <laughs> that's the way I play most shooters like this, is I just mash, unless I have, like, limited ammo or, like, an overheat feature, I just mash the yeah. fire button, because I'm, I'm horrible at aiming things. I don't know why I can't aim for shit. I still be shoot things a lot of the time, but, uh, yeah, okay. Um, my overdrive bar hasn't moved at all. I, I really don't know. I'm assuming that's related to like some kind of special thing I can do. Like a, I don't want to say special attack, but like a special attack. Yeah, uh, there's probably something like that. I don't know. I wouldn't worry too much about it. This one's got a lot of Egyptian imagery here. Yeah. I like it. These, uh, these eyes watching me. Okay. Man. This is, uh, these levels go by really quick though. Yeah, it's a really fast space game. Um, and you probably can't hear it, uh, but my my controller is like throbbing right now uh, to the the bass beat of the the music. Yeah, and I I'm sure if I had a vibrator plugged in, it would feel awesome. But <laughs> um, <laughs> right now, let's uh, take that one out of context. I that, that's the kind of thing that's there's no way to to apply good context <laughs> to it. Yeah, but um. Uh, yeah, so I'm, yeah, a, I'm a pretty big fan of like third-person rail shooters. I haven't played a whole lot of them, but like I let's play the game Sin and Punishment. I really like that game. And, yeah, uh, and yeah. It's a sequel. And uh, there's one game I really want to try called uh, Planet Terriers. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it, but it's a, a game in this sort of vein. That's an arcade game, and uh, I think you'll understand why I want to play it if uh, I explain it to you by name dropping a bunch of other games I like. <laughs> so it's like a, a Sin and Punishment style uh, third-person rail shooter from uh, Amusement Vision, the developer of Super Monkey Ball and F Zero <laughs> GX. Okay, and and the arcade machine it's on is the same one as Virtual on. All right, so, so it's basically the perfect game for me. I have no idea whether it's any good, but uh, apparently it doesn't emulate super well, uh, kind of like Res itself. The yeah. thing about arcade game emulation is that if you're doing like really old games, they all emulate perfectly, but as soon as you get to 3D, you're screwed. Because um, even if you have a really nice machine, they have all like audio stuttering problems. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like, I know that to this day you can't get a solid emulation of uh, the original arcade version of Gauntlet Legends. Oh, that's shame, too bad. That's a really yeah. great game. And, like, the Nintendo 64 and uh, Dreamcast and PS1 ports of it uh, made a lot of changes, and it would be fun to be able to play the original version of that again without buying a, a four-digit dollar machine. Right, right. Because who who's, who's got the money for that? Even if I had the money, like, that's a pretty big commitment, buying anything that large. It basically means you don't want to move anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. It's just not so. practical. But uh, if, I, if I was sure I was going to be uh, staying in one place the rest of my life, I'd probably try to get a couple of arcade machines, because I think that would be pretty cool. That'd be a cool thing to have, just an arcade yeah. room. Because I really do love arcade games. We just didn't exactly grow up in an area that had a lot of great arcades. Yeah, and we were born about ten years too late for them to be everywhere. Yeah, again with the Tron thing, uh, we, we didn't quite live through that golden era. Yeah, but um, man, this is the, the pace is really picked up here. Like, oh yeah. I'm zooming along here. <laughs> Mashing X even though there's nothing, nothing to shoot at all. There's all this information I can't read it, but I don't think I'm supposed to. It's just command lines and System defense initialized. I got that. All um, of the command line text is completely meaningless. Don't worry about it. So here we've got the first boss. It's a disco ball. Yeah, okay. and it's made up of a, of a bunch of squares, and I imagine you're going to want to shoot each one of them. Yeah. Um, oh, jeez. Yeah, this but, is really familiar to me, but I don't remember what to do at all. <laughs> yeah, but I think you're on the right track. Well, I've, I've uncovered some areas here, and there's some thing, these uh, little blocks I, like rotating around that I can target. So um, clearing off those panels is just the first stage to, to get to these, but now it's recovering itself, looks like. Yeah. Um, or maybe not. Uh, there's something swirling around it, but... Um, I, my overdrive's moved to two bars now, that's kind of cool. But... Oh, man. 
Damn, just, this is a good game. Look yeah. at this. I, I love a, an original boss fight, and this is just incredible. Like, I have no idea yeah. what's going on, but I'm loving just watching it. Yeah, like, this, I've never... I've... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I need to take out these things flying at me. Oh, now I... Am I a disco ball? <laughs> it looks like you oh. evolved into one, yeah. Yeah, but then I got taken out. That's too bad. It was... That was just oh. too much for me. I... <laughs> Um, with everything going on, I almost couldn't even see some of the projectiles coming at me because I was just focused on the, the spinning de ball of death in front of me, but that was a lot of fun, though. Yeah, what an incredible game. So this is Hot Shots Golf 3, and I actually recently played Hot Shots Golf 2, I think, on uh, one of my PS1 demo discs. So this is your wheelhouse anyway, right? Like, you grew up with these <laughs> games. Yeah, I grew up playing them, but I'm not good at them or anything like it's the kind of thing that takes it just takes practice to to get back in to you can't just pick it up because um, yeah. it's it's just all about timing on it a lot of it we've got three characters here again three lame characters like these silhouetted characters i know there's at least one or two like really cool ones or interesting ones but i'll just be the chick uh tiffany here and a lot better than chip who i played last time it was just like some guy with a baseball cap but uh, it says the greens here are full of bumps and banks. Um, yeah, I don't know. And the uh, the gameplay here should be pretty much identical to what we played before. I have no idea where the hole even is. Uh, I guess this way. The, the main difference is just, like, obviously a graphical update. Oh, shit, that was awful. What are you doing? You're not on the green. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> then what are you putting it for? Am I putting? <laughs> I didn't... It looked like you were. It didn't go into the air like no. it's supposed to. Well, um, I mean, I'm not a golf expert, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you're yeah. supposed to hit it higher than that. <laughs> my uh, my accuracy rating was off, so I basically just completely missed the ball and just like hit the top of it. Because um, the way this meter works is when I hit it, it'll start moving, and then the further it goes out, the harder I hit it, and the closer I get back to the starting point, the more accurate my hit is. So, yeah. so power than precision? Yeah. What do the what do the percentages represent? It's like one hundred percent, or okay, it's percentages on top and then yardage on bottom. So I imagine if you changed uh, what club you were using, the yardage would increase yeah. or decrease. Okay, that's pretty nice. Usually, it's I found it's just best to stick with the default club because it, it'll usually give you the right club for the situation, and you can only the only real reason it changes is if you know what you're doing and you just um, you have a trick you want to try out. But uh, I don't know what I'm doing, so I just trust the game to give me the right the right ball half the or the club half the time yeah. they're like i was like yeah there again um in in two you had to hit it really early like because it would go a little bit after you hit it but it looks like it's actually a little bit more precise here because I'm, I'm hitting it early in anticipation of that and then it's not going as far as i'm thinking it will so i'm gonna try no um Still too I'm, early. is it moving just a lot slower than you expect it to that could be that could be it too i don't know but uh on the bright side we will be playing this game for a long time by the looks of things. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so there's no multiplayer mode available in this demo, but I'm sure it's a pretty big selling point of the game itself. Yeah, I always played it with my family when we had it, and I think this was actually the one we had, because I don't think we had any of the PS1 ones, so it was either this one or, um, that was better. You didn't uh, have any of the PS2 ones? Oh, right. no, you didn't have any of the PS1 ones, so this might be the one you had. I yeah, see. Okay. yeah, we might, it was either this one or maybe, like, four. Uh, probably both, actually. But uh, this is really the only golf game that I've played. That was that was better. Yeah. If the you only, get it right on, it's great. But the only like 3D golf games I have any experience with have been in bars, like <laughs> like Golden Tee Tournament or whatever. Right. I need to. I love rolling the trackball. Like, <laughs> I don't know something something about arcade games with trackballs is really fun to me. Yeah, I'm trying to hit around these trees because I don't think I can hit through them success. Or uh, why not? I'll just try and hit through them. Um, I'm not going to be successful with this at all, but uh, a little bit too soon, but at least we didn't get the skull. Um, oh, okay, I cleared them. Good, good. That's <laughs> that's a relief. I didn't want to have to sh put, uh, like shoot around them, because I'm already like over par, I'm pretty sure. But um, For being a standard definition game, this game has a lot of like really small, hard-to-read text. Like uh, particularly the, the the yardage and percentages on the gauge at the bottom when you're yeah. when you're taking a shot that's almost impossible to read. Yeah, and that's partly justified by the fact that you can take as long as you want. Like I could sit here forever uh, practicing or, or figuring out how I want it before I actually hit. Sure, but who put like is that semi-transparent yellow text which is like almost always going to be over a green backdrop? Um, I I don't see the which. I'm talking about the, the on your gauge at the bottom. You see the percentages and the yardages. Yeah, like 
Isn't is that not yellow text on a green background? Oh, it's, it's white. But okay, is it? I don't know. It's really hard to read to me. That's all I'm saying. Oh, okay. You need to keep playing while I'm talking. <laughs> we need to get through this game. I was just trying to f figure out what you were referring to. Okay. Oh man, I forgot to account for curves, so I just went way <laughs> off to the the side there. Because um, you can see by the way the lines are about the way the 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 slope is, but um. And here, when we're putting, we don't have an accuracy thing, we just have distance. So, putting's actually really easier if you don't forget that, that you're not on a flat surface. But, uh, yeah, five over par, that's awful. Tiffany's but, caddy is really sleazy looking. I think he's just the general caddy. Like, I, he's like the mascot for the game, because I see him all, all over, like, the boxes and stuff. So the audience is meant to identify with him? Maybe. Or it's possible he's just a pl another uh, another character, and you can choose from the other characters as your caddy. Yeah, okay. I don't really, I really don't remember at all. Um, yeah, but w even though uh, we, I've played a lot of golf games. This is really the only one I've ever liked. Um, <laughs> like, oh, there I am in the sand trap. The uh, like, cause there's, I've played a couple others like Tiger Woods. I don't really care for, or um, Outlaw Golf is awful. Uh, the Out Outlaw is that series. Cowboys in playing golf. No, it's um, it's got like a grunge biker gimmick oh, to gross. it. Oh, gross! Yeah, all the characters look like, like you could get an STD from looking what at a, them. It's such a gross. What a weird franchise. cultural mashup! Like, golf is the sport of the affluent. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's just a franchise. They just did every game they could. Oh, I didn't account enough. Oh, really? So yeah. there's like a baseball one and a, a bowling one, yeah. and so on. I would, it's um, all the same outlaw gang. Yeah, I really, um, I only played outlaw golf and outlaw beach volleyball, which, <laughs> um, the beach volleyball one was really just, it's just like sex appeal, but um, so it's exactly like every other beach volleyball yeah, game. Yeah, <laughs> but just like even sleazier, because like Dead or Alive even beach sleazier. Yeah, because like Dead or Alive beach volleyball has at least an element of class because the girls what? are like they disagree. Look, no. no by comparison, you you haven't seen these outlaw games. I don't They're know awful. What's, I don't know what's <laughs> more classless than Dead or Alive. <laughs> I can't picture it. I'm sorry. A Dead or Alive at least has a pleasing aesthetic to a, to a certain degree. There's nothing, absolutely uh, nothing ple like pleasing about the Outlaw stops. series. It stops. The, the pleasing element stops below the bust line, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was out of bounds. I didn't even know you could do that. Um, <laughs> so I'm putting again, but that still counted as a... Or not putting, but I'm hitting again. You That's, take a penalty for landing yeah. in the water or whatever? Yeah. I th don't think I landed in the water, but I was close... Like, I was outside those little pegs. Oh, okay. sticking out of the ground. You're which, outside the course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which the course curves around, so that's not fair. But okay, that time I'm I'm in the fairway. I didn't hit a sand trap or anything. Yes. Yeah. Quite quite nice. Um, again, I don't really know where I'm hitting. It's a lot harder to to guess where the uh, where where the hole is compared to to two when we played it. But there we go. That's pretty that's pretty close. A little bit further than I would have liked. But again, I didn't even know where I was hitting. Um, this is a hard putt, though. This is, a, like, a long putt, anyway. But, uh, I think, uh, I don't know, that looks good to me. Um, you say so. I, I do say so. <laughs> and that's pretty close. Yeah, like, I'm not, not going in. But, yeah. And then, and then it's a gimme, so I don't even play gimmies, but I still got a double bogey. Oh, really? Um, eight over, how did I, how did that happen? She have a broken heart on her dress, is that what that is? <laughs> I, I didn't see it, but probably that that wouldn't surprise me. I don't know how many holes we're playing here. That was it. We're done. Okay. okay. Thank uh, God. All right. So yeah, that's available in stores March 2002. If you want to play more, uh, Hot Shots Golf 3. So this is SSX Tricky, which I think is the game I've been talking about when I've been playing Cool Borders. <laughs> probably. Uh, a mutual friend of ours had this game, so we played a fair bit of it back in the day, but I don't remember it super well. I just remember the chorus of the theme song, which is super catchy. Yeah, but this is um this is a lot more like cartoonish or over the top than the Cool Borders series, which is the I think the only other snowboarding one I've played in in this show. But here we got uh, EA Sports Boog. I don't <laughs> I don't know why it's big, but um once again we we don't have a, a two player option. Uh, it's like listed here, and you would really think if of any of them it would be available here, but it's definitely a selling point of the game. Yeah. But um, we've got a few characters here, and as far as I can tell... It looks like the full roster. Yeah, but... I'd, oh, but some of the games are darkened out. Yeah, so. we, we only have two here Eddie that we can actually Elise. play. Yeah. So, um... That's too bad. I always played uh, Kaori back in the day. Yeah, there's some there's some great characters in this, um... 
and I like uh, I, just in this franchise in general. But here we've got um, the girl that was on most of the covers. It was either her or Eddie, so they're the two like mascots. It's acting like I can choose a board, but uh, it's can't. but I can't. Like, yeah, I can't move it around at all. I can't even view options that I don't have available. Um, and then uh, I can either race or show off, but uh, I'm not much of a show off, so we'll just race. Uh, amateur and yeah again we've got some other options here it looks like we've got two levels here I think we'll probably just play one of them but uh, this one looks interesting so yeah and then again we've got a demo that shows us the controls even though the PlayStation magazine will put it on there <laughs> at the start of each game anyway um, I don't know why it tells us that circle has no function but I guess it's handy to know I don't need to press. But they could have told us that by not having a label on it, right? It just draws attention to it. But so this one looks like a pretty typical uh, like slope on a mountain. But there were some pretty non-traditional stages in this game, from what I remember. Yeah, but I think both like, this and the other one we had an option of are going to be like this, though. Yeah, I remember like a futuristic cityscape being involved and with lots of like uh, colorful half pipes and stuff. Yeah, it got pretty. It got pretty crazy, and that's part of that's really part of the fun for it. Um, Oh like, yeah, it breaks free from the incredibly limited visuals of the snowboarding genre. Yeah, and it's probably the main reason we played it. Like, I don't think we would have played a, a more realistic one. There's a, yeah. little, there's a little banter here between uh, the, the two between main characters. and someone else. Yeah, that was, uh, that was Eddie there, I think. Um, oh, he's a friend. This is interesting. There's like a friendship, a relationship. <laughs> okay. Uh, that'll determine how, I guess, how aggressive they are. Um, yeah, it could be. Because I, there are, you can, like, I forget how, but you can, whoa, what the <laughs> fuck? I really went flipping there. Oh my god, I'm dead. I am dead. I killed the least. Did you read the controls? No. No, okay. I almost never do. Do, uh, do you ever? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, uh, I, I figure them out when I play them. I, yeah. for some reason, I've never been able to read the controls like that and have it stick. Yeah, I, I don't blame I, you. It's much, you'll learn it much better if you just intuit it by playing the game. Yeah, and that works a lot better when I'm not just playing it once for a video, but when I'm actually just playing a demo disc, like when I, when I was a kid and actually playing these. That worked a lot better because then I could play it like several times and get good and get like good at it instead of what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just diving head first. Like, no one, no one here wants to see you get good at a game. Let's be honest. It's a lot more fun <laughs> seeing it this way. Oh man, poor Elise. I feel so bad picking her now. I should have picked. I should have picked Eddie. Uh, wow, I like, double standard. Yeah. Well, he's got. I don't know. He's got an afro, so I don't care. Wow. <laughs> he's white. <laughs> he's not black. He just so, has an afro. <laughs> so even though this is the the, the typical like snowy mountain uh, arena <laughs> that we've chosen, this is still way more visually interesting than any other snowboarding game I've seen. Oh, like, is there a the, time limit? The giant moon in the background. That we, there were like all those green lights along the way. It's just they're like injecting so much color into this oh, game. Look at that. I didn't even finish the race. Wow, you're awful. Let let us. I want to do the other one now, yeah. just to see it, cause I so don't deserve this. she she doesn't. Yeah, Wait, what don't she, you deserve? You didn't win. She doesn't deserve me playing her. She also oh. feels bad that I chose her. I think she didn't deserve to be in last place. Then you shouldn't have fallen down so much. I think you <laughs> earned what you got. Well, see, I'm not complaining. She's complaining. She had no control over it. She's just a puppet. Um. Yeah. Let's. I want to do the uh a, a race on the other one. Just to see, um, play Eddie this time. Yeah, I'll so play Eddie. See the other character. Poor Look at Eddie. that guy robot dancing. Yeah, I don't find him as likable. He likeable. looks like a cool bro. <laughs> he, he looks too much like a cool bro. A I little can't, bit, yeah. I can't like him. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Yeah. So before we played um, the the second one. So this is I, I don't even remember what it was called. It was Snow Dream. Yeah. So he yeah. will play Gar Garibaldi. Garibaldi. Right. So yeah, even if you say you don't like Eddie because he's so bro-looking, he's still got way more personality than Tiffany in Hot Shots Golf 3. Yes. Who is just like a static mannequin. Yeah. Um, the Hot Shots games did have some interesting characters because they were also trying to be a little bit over the top with a lot of things. Yeah. The, I don't think the golf courses ever got really crazy, but the characters, there was a lot of colorful did characters. Did they have like robots or aliens and junk like that, or was it all... I think there was one or two characters like that. Yeah. They, they were like the last ones you would unlock or something, and they weren't available at the start. 
Uh, if memory serves, I because could that's, be making that's that the up. direction I see a game in that style taking is just being as wacky as possible. Yeah, and that's really what I would want. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I find this style of character design a lot more interesting. Yeah, like they're they're still zany, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, they've got a lot more heart to them. Yeah, I think yeah we've got another little interaction here. <laughs> you got it. Uh. Yeah, so yeah, here we got the friend thing again. Yeah, again, Elise is our friend and everyone else is neutral. Um, though really, I don't think any of the characters here actually have more personality than Eddie. Like, I think, well, I, I wasn't even moving. Um, to I be guess, fair, no one else has as much hair as Eddie. Yeah. But like, most of these other characters look pretty much like uh, snowboarder characters just with brighter colors. Holy shit! <laughs> um, somehow we survived that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, landed didn't land on my head off the really big drop because there's no way you could justify saying he survived that. Um, oh, caution! There's some ice in here. Um, this course is a little less interesting looking than the last because it's not at night. It doesn't have the benefit of the colored spotlights and the moon and everything. Yeah, but it had a huge drop. Yeah, that was yeah. so big. Um, caution! Jump! Look, I, I jumped and I didn't even land on my head. There's some sparkles going off there. Um, <laughs> Still, in terms of stage decoration, I think that this is, like, intentionally the most vanilla. This is, like, the introductory stage, I think. Right, yeah. And then they they get progressively more insane as you go through, uh, yeah. I'm sure. Um, uh, play, like, the career mode or whatever equivalent to that there there is in this. Um, and I hope that that friend uh, thing is a little bit more, like, you can control it in the full game. Uh uh, like, and it's not just like preset on a character to character basis. Like yeah. Eddie and Elise are always friends. Yeah. yeah, like it'd be cool if if in a career mode you could um, make uh, friends and or enemies as you play along, and then that'll affect how things go in the next race. That would be that's an interesting yeah. dynamic to me. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how it works. But yeah, I've only ever played this game multiplayer before, and yeah. even then, it's I have years. I have no idea what the like story mode or career mode is like. Oh, we're hitting the. You're almost out of time. But, like, the other racers are still racing, too, so I don't, um... Yeah, I'm not sure. I, like, there... Does the, does the race just not have an end? Oh, I got second place. Nice. Interesting. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. Does the race just go on until time runs out, and it's just whoever's in... Whoever gets furthest in that amount of time, maybe. That's that's weird. That there's not, like, a finish line, but... But I don't know enough about snowboarding to deny that that's how it works, so... I, I don't know. That's how it is in Cool Borders, anyway. There's a finish line, yeah. but... Um, whoa, I accidentally hit restart. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's enough of this. Yeah, let's uh, let's quit. So this is Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, um, and I don't actually know where this falls in like the Baldur's Gate chronology, like what number it is. In the canon. Yeah. like I think this is a spin-off game because I don't think it's related to the PC games. That's likely. Um, I've never really played the Baldur's Gate games. I've played games like them, uh, a few, like, uh, but I, I, I don't actually know anything about this franchise. Um, some kind of mountain here with lightning. <laughs> but yeah. This so, is a, so this being a, a console game, I'm expecting a bit more of a like gauntlet sort of gameplay. But the original uh, PC games were very much tied to the original like advanced Dungeons and Dragons rules. Okay. Uh, like in terms of character stats, like weapons were described as dealing one d six plus one damage and crap <laughs> like that. And I that don't seems. Know superfluous in a, in a video game. It's a really excessive adherence to the source material, definitely. I love this penguin, though. It seems so out of place in this game. <laughs> and here's our second explanation of the controls. Wonderful. And uh, still, I have no idea what they do. Yeah, we'll, f <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. But, uh... <laughs> Loading. Gonna, okay. Yeah. So this is um this is a uh, Forgotten Realms game. The original Baldur's Gate games were sort of a predecessor to Neverwinter Nights. Um, I played a lot more of Neverwinter Nights than I have of Baldur's Gate, but I did play some of the first Baldur's Gate game, and it was okay. It was definitely uh, a lot better for the time, but I don't think it would have aged very well today. This game looks completely differently from that, though. Like I said, it's a very much more. This looks cheap. It does look cheap. This is more of an uh, an action RPG. This is really more uh, related to Diablo from the looks of it than it is to Baldur's Gate. Uh, in Baldur's Gate, you controlled a, a party of characters, and uh, it played out in real time, but you had the ability to uh, pause the game mid-combat and give commands to each of your characters. Yeah, like, look how my character looks. This doesn't look right to me. Oh. Um, what doesn't look right about it? She's... 
the model's like a different aesthetic than I would expect. I don't know. I, I maybe I'm just thinking too much of like Champions of Nerath, which is the closest thing to this I've played, where the the characters look. I don't know. She looks like like she's from Portal Runner or something. But um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Forgotten Realms has this kind of ugly to me, like sort of swords and sorcery look. Yeah. It's not it's not full on like Conan the Barbarian look, but it's it's definitely a bit more of a, a primitive fantasy sort of look to it. Here I am mashing my fire button again. Yeah. Um, as far as like Dungeons and Dragons settings go, I'm a, much more of a fan of like Eberron. Yeah. So this this demo, um, like some of the ones we've played before, just kind of dropped me right in, which I always I resent that when demos do that to me. I know I know sometimes they probably don't have any better setup, but like I I don't know. I hate when I'm just suddenly I'm playing a game and I don't know anything about like where I am or what's going on. I just, I'm, I'm guessing just in a that dungeon. this is an introductory area of the game, yeah. given that we're like in a sewer fighting rats. That's yeah. like the first thing I expect to do in a in an original sort of RPG game. Yeah. Uh, if um if we were playing the full game, there would have been some kind of character creation thing. I'm pretty sure. Like I don't, I don't think you're stuck playing this chick. Uh, or at least I'm assuming it's I think it's, it's much. really limited though. Um, this is actually starting to come back to me now that I see a little bit more of this. Um. Uh, I knew someone who had this game years and years ago, and uh, from what I remember, you couldn't choose like whatever race class combination you wanted. There were like maybe eight preset I'm dying. combinations. So I'm we're dead. probably yeah, so we're probably like the female human fighter, but you probably could also have chosen like the male drow ranger or something like that. And there were just like eight of those preset sort of characters you got to choose from. Uh, I don't think there was full on customization in a sort of a fantasy star online style or anything like yeah. that okay so i when i died it took me back to the game like the controls i guess in case it thought i died because i didn't know how to play which is partially true I no i i don't think that that's the reason <laughs> at all i think that they just didn't have a game over built into the demo so they just had it set to loop back to the start yeah and just um, like effectively reset the memory to the yeah. start of the demo i don't think i don't know if i really want to replay it again though cause well, I, I have okay. a weapon now, at least. I'm not let's, kicking. Let's keep going, though, because I'd like to see more of this. So, first matter of concern, there's a star on your map, and a star, to me, would indicate that that's where our objective is. Do you need to, like, examine that crystal thing, or am I just completely misreading the map? I don't know. Like, um, I assumed it was a save thing. Yeah, it looks like it, but the fact that there's a star on the map makes me think that this would be where we're supposed to be going, but, alright, maybe I'm wrong about that. None of my buttons are doing anything to it. Oh, I accidentally un unequipped my rusty dagger, I need that. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I dropped it! No! <laughs> Pick up That's rusty so dagger! <laughs> did it, did you automatically equip it? No, by picking it I started up? kicking. Wow. <laughs> um, circle for back, okay. Alright, so I'm just in a, like, a Nino Kuni mindset, thinking that the star is the objective. Uh, I guess we're just meant to keep Or a track. Mario mindset. Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not... Uh, I'm not... I don't know what the, that other game is. But, um... No, you know what Nino Kuni is. That's the, the Studio Ghibli game that's, like, sort of a Jade Cocoon successor on the PS3. Oh, yeah, okay, I do know The that one is. that's made by... I just uh, never played it. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I think we've talked about it before. Yeah. It's by uh, Level 5, who made uh, Dark Cloud and uh, Dark Chronicle. Yeah, yeah, it looked really good. Yeah, um, I've been playing it recently. It's pretty good. That's cool. I'm jelly. It look, it's a lot better than this game, I can safely say. This <laughs> I'm game, pretty sure okay. a lot of games are better than this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. But as bad as this game looks, I'm sure it would be a blast playing it with four people. Yeah, and that would be the appeal. Because almost every video game is. Yeah. Um, that's, that's built for that sort of experience. Um... The lack of uh, depth in the gameplay can be made up for by the team dyna dynamic, definitely. Yeah. And it looks like this game makes you uh, fight over drops. You would probably... <laughs> if, if, you were <laughs> yeah. this, if you were that player, you would always be the one running in front, straight into harm's way, in order to get the first crack at the, the chests and the crates. Wow, you suck. Yeah, I haven't been... I haven't figured out any way to defend myself. <laughs> or I, I, I'm picking up items, but... In the full game, there's probably a shield. We'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, like, um... Uh, yeah, there's a block button, but I haven't touched it. Oh, there's, well, there's even a drink problem. health po potion option. <laughs> okay. Do you want to try it again? Uh, I'm fine either way. Okay. If well, you want to run it back and embarrass yourself some more. I love embarrassing myself. That's why <laughs> but, I do these videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I think we, uh, we haven't given the game justice if we haven't been pressing the block button. Haven't blocked. Haven't, uh... Having drunk potions. health potions. Do we know how many potions we have? 
Uh, I think I just picked one up. Okay. So I have one. I don't know. I've been picking up files, but I don't know. I haven't been paying attention to what they are. So if the game is going to give us a hotkey that automatically uses a potion, it would be really nice if it displayed on the screen somewhere how many of those potions we had. But yeah. the UI doesn't seem to have anything like that. No, I can, like, look through my... Yeah, oh, there we I've go. got lesser healing potion, lesser, lesser rejuvenation potion. Okay. I don't Probably know what the difference benefit. between healing and rejuvenation is. But yeah, yeah. They're red and that. blue, so we can kind of infer. But yeah. have you even used magic before? Yeah, yeah, my fire. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that thing. Okay. My well, awesome... How could I forget <laughs> such a memorable <laughs> effect? <laughs> yeah, see, here's another healing potion. So wait, what class is our character? Because I assumed she was a fighter, but if you're shooting fire out of your hands, maybe you're like a sorcerer or something. I have no idea. Um, I don't think it says anywhere. Like, okay, yeah, because... Wait, what was that character sheet page? Yeah, um, okay, you're Elven Sorcerer, Adriana. Oh, I, did, I, I couldn't even tell I was Elven. Like, okay. Experience 69, am I right? Um, All right let's, let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, a very D&D-looking uh, status screen there. But uh, yeah, not quite as adherent as the original Baldur's Gate was in that respect. Yeah. Um... The lots game of, had lots like, of barrels, man. <laughs> that game had like way too much attention to detail. I remember um, one of the first major scenes of the game takes place at night, and I remember playing it with uh, like a dwarf or something, some species that had dark vision, <laughs> and like the cutscene looked entirely differently than if I had been playing a human because I could see at night. It was really bizarre. That's interesting. That that's kind of a cool touch. So I I like things like that. I don't know. It's well, just... like playing different characters make gives you a different experience. That's like I I get behind okay, that. but it, it's not like the scene was designed any differently. It was just like a a factor of the dark vision being a, a concept in the game. Anyway, if, to me it seems like needless simulationism, so. which is a big pet peeve of mine in video uh, games. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. I, uh, I drank a health potion before I came in here because I knew there was all these rats running around. You, you He's... quaffed a healing potion in uh, the NetHack parlance. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'll take your word for it. NetHack used like every key on the keyboard, so Q was for quaff. Oh, that makes sense. I, uh, I hear quaff, I think of like hair or something, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to drink another one. And uh, get these empty barrels. Oh, yay, I can rejuvenate my magic that I don't really use. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. The, like, the fireball doesn't actually seem to hurt the... Uh... Okay, alright. Maybe I've just been too close. Because um, when I was using it before, it looked like it was just flying right over the rats. But I, I guess I was too close to them. It looks like it's damaged over time as well. Yeah. But, like, that's the first time I've seen one ca catch on fire. Oh, Fifteen there's... rats left. Wow. So our job here is literally to kill every rat. How um, inspiring. Yep. We are a hero for the ages. <laughs> Us, uh, elven sorcerers. I'm sure there's a whole world out there waiting to be saved, but no, we've got to take care of some rats first. Well, I mean, they're, like, ruining these barrels. All these barrels that I'm breaking. Um, because it's like a wine cellar, right? That's, uh, that's what it looks so. like. There's, that's the only reason I can think of for all these barrels stacked up everywhere. You'd think with all the rich mythology, all of the hundreds of novels wrapped around the Forgotten Realms, that they could have come up with some better vistas for us to play in than... A wine cellar with rats in it. Yeah, but like you said, this is probably a tutorial level. Yeah. So I, I don't expect much. And that that is another thing with some of these demos, though. I like when they don't put you right in the very start. Um, like I, sometimes it's necessary to learn a game. Uh, but it's I would think you would want to highlight the most interesting level you could think of that isn't like spoilers. Yeah, you would want something that uh, exemplifies your game, something that's uh, like very telling of what the game is actually like for the most part, and that's not always necessarily the first part of the game. Yeah, and if this is like if the whole game is like this, you're not selling me. Oh yeah, this is not showing the game at its best. I'm sure. Like I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt. By giving us like a, a first level character here without a lot of things to do. Why is this rat running away? I, I have to kill it. <laughs> that well, that's exactly why it's running away, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but not, all the others have attacked me. But this one, this one's cowardly. Did you level up? Um, I, if I did, it didn't tell me that. Yeah, I did. I'm sure there would have been some fanfare or something. At least some music. Come on. Um, I haven't been keeping track of how many I've killed since that 15 rat mark. I'm assuming it hasn't that I been get... giving us the update. I expected yeah. once we saw the 15 that everyone... Okay, okay it's giving us 5-5s, five so we're so, down to 10 now. Yeah, that's um, that's too many rats. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 
For the demo, yeah, that's definitely too many rats. <laughs> I almost died. I thought I was dead, then I remembered I still had a potion. Uh, ooh, a chest, yay! <laughs> it's, um, got two gold in it. Um, yeah, and also, if we're going to be showing off, like, the best aspects of this game, you really would expect the multiplayer to be, like, in involved somehow. But, yeah. It's like, if, if, if the multiplayer is the best selling point of your game, you would you would want to show that off, but like, playing this, I wouldn't even know that it had multiplayer, the way this demo is set up, if I didn't already, just already know that about the game. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't do anything to tell you that, because as soon as you load up the game, you're already playing it, you don't get to yeah. see the sort of menu screen, was, like a yeah. lot of these demos show you. Yeah, like in SSX Tricky, I could tell that there was multiplayer in it, uh, other than just that it was the type of game that always has multiplayer. Yeah. But like, there was no point where I could, I had to select one character because two characters was blocked out or anything. But yeah, this is looking like it would be a pretty garbage game if you had to play it by yourself. Yeah, which is, um... Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, this is These the rats. PlayStation 2. There were way better RPGs than this. I played almost nothing but RPGs on the PlayStation 2, and I never yeah. felt like I had to play any game like this. Never had to resort to Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Uh... Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. More like... <laughs> Dork Alliance. <laughs> I'm sure the alliance is sufficiently dark. I just... As long as it's not an alliance of rats. Oh. There, okay. Rat, rat quest completed. Yes! yes. I have completed the all-important rat quest. Let's dignify it by calling it a quest. <laughs> Your reward is a chest with one gold piece in it. Yeah. And another crystal. And I'm pretty sure this will, like... Um, this is and some kind demo. of... Or do nothing, okay. <laughs> I, I'm sure that's a save point. That's That's gotta be what that is. Yeah, or like a respawn point or something. Yeah. But uh, it won't come to play here. We've got like goblins or something now? I can't some tell. Little, there's some little hu tiny humanoid. Um, I'm not... I can't tell for sure what, what exactly they're meant to be, but... Um, I don't know, maybe here soon it'll say like 15 goblins remain. <laughs> and then I'll then I'll know what they are. Uh, wouldn't it be awful if that was the entire game? You kill 15 of one thing, then 15 <laughs> of another thing, and eventually you're killing 15 dragons, but still. Yeah. <laughs> the 15th dragons is not, dragon is not as much fun as the first. Yeah. Uh, that would be, that would be so lazy. Yeah. Um. Ooh, I got a quest item. A fine bottle of wine. That's, that's exciting. Okay, so we are in a wine cellar, just... In an ill-filled one if there's only one bottle of wine to be found. Well, I mean, there's lots of barrels of wine. I'm assuming the barrels I can't break have wine in them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just... At least I made it, like, this far. Like, I still haven't blocked once, <laughs> but, um... Knowing how to heal has made a big difference. I'd be I would be dead a few times over if I wasn't drinking any potions like I had been. Yeah. So I'm guess, I'm guessing that the green gauge up top is your experience, and that yeah. you're almost the way to the second level. So maybe if we press on and kill a couple more of whatever these are, we'll get to see a level up, and That'll then be it exciting. won't have all been for nothing. <laughs> because oh my god, they're gang raping me! Oh wow, we're losing here. No, heal. Uh, there's so many of these, whatever they are. I think they're kobolds? I don't know. Ooh, kobolds, that's exciting. That's just that. another word for goblin. I know that that's not true in D&D, &D, but let's not kid ourselves. Well, I've I've been picking up a lot of healing potions, so... Oh, no! Night. We have a new option there. I um, probably was supposed to use that on something else. <laughs> but Alright, maybe I wasn't even supposed to use it on anything, I don't know, but... It, uh... It ignited. I almost blew myself up. Um, almost to 100 gold pieces. There you go, 100. Yeah, now I'm rich. We can probably afford a slightly better short sword. I don't even have a, a like, crappy short sword. I just have this rusty dagger. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. Yeah. It is um, it is not useful. It's better than kicking, which is what I was doing the very first time. I think I accidentally unselected my weapon or something, because I was just kicking huh. the first playthrough. Yeah. But, um... Like Is that just arrow. another bomb? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I just figured I'd go ahead and set it off. Since it's there. Um, here's some non-threatening rats running around on the floor here. Rats are beneath us now. We've moved on. Yeah, they all shrunk. But 
Still haven't leveled up. Like, um... The, this must take a lot. Why are you even bothering with all of these barrels? You know this is a demo, right? We're not yeah, gonna be able but to they have healing potions in them. Okay. Which, I, I need the healing potions. I don't actually... I have no idea how many I have, but I know I want as many as I can get, because that's the only reason I'm alive right now. Okay, so here's a question, right? You had to open the menu to see how many healing potions you had, because it doesn't tell you that on the UI? Yeah. How does this work in multiplayer? You can't see how many potions you have without pausing the game for everyone and then making everyone wait for you to check how many potions you have? That's, that seems incredibly yeah. obnoxious. That seems to be the case. I would really expect a game like this to have a menu that just like takes up your quarter of the screen and doesn't pause the action for everyone oh, else. These spiders killed me really quickly. <laughs> Oh okay, yeah, that's good though. Like we didn't see the level. Good up, is is pushing it. Well, I just mean like in terms it's of sufficient. I've satisfied my <laughs> gameplay. I don't okay. want to play it anymore. Let's move on. So this is Jack and Daxter, the precursor legacy. Again, no idea where this falls in the Jack and Daxter continuity. Uh, if this is the, I, I'm it's assuming prequel, the first right? one. Or like a, no, they wouldn't have called it the precursor legacy if it was the first one. The first one was probably just called Jack and Daxter, right? That's fair. Yeah. I, uh, and then they made a prequel, so they called it the Precursor. Like, I don't know. I've never played any of these games. Uh, yeah, I know nothing about them. It's Naughty Dog, though. Same uh, developers as Crash Bandicoot and other successful games recently, but I, uh, that that I haven't played. Still any confidence in me? <laughs> but okay, let's continue. <laughs> um, yeah, a grab zoomer. <laughs> so we have separate um, controls for uh, I guess when we're free running and when we're in a vehicle. I'm guessing that that's what those are. Without a, uh, I, I couldn't actually read any of that text. It was a little small. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what this guy is, but this it's looks like <laughs> this looks like uh, it was made by the same people that did Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, it, it looks very similar. Uh, I, I have no idea what he's telling me, but I don't actually care. He's like, he's got a bird on his head though. That's cool. <laughs> His, this huge log on his head you would think would give him like neck cramps or something. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, so do you know offhand which one's Jack and which one's Daxter of the two uh, characters? I, th I think the humanoid one is Jack and the okay. animal is Daxter. That, that would be my guess, but I, I don't actually know for sure. It, Daxter's always looked like uh, like a really obnoxious version of Timon from uh, from Lion King to me. Yeah. He's, well, he kind of reminds me of Conker. Oh, I don't know who that is. Uh, of Conker's Bad Fur Day, as well as, like, Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I'm i not familiar with that, but... I don't know. Are these, these look like Easter eggs or something that I'm picking up, but um, that that's, can't be what they are. You should stand still with one in the foreground. Like, uh, walk up so that we can actually get it closer to the camera. Yeah, I don't know what those are. I'm looking to see if there's, like, a first-person view, but it doesn't seem to be. Oh, I can do that, though. Uh, I think there's... I saw something moving up here. Oh, I no. think they're Russian nesting eggs. That's what I'm gonna assume. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, yeah, I've got some enemies here. I, I, I. The the game told me what was going on, but I still don't know what was going on because I wasn't paying any attention to the old guy. See, he was kind of quiet. Yeah, I can um, hear. Like we we the volume's pretty sufficient. I've been able to hear everybody else so far, but um, I couldn't hear him. Um, I'm falling. Okay, I didn't die. <laughs> Okay. As soon as I made that jump, I was like, I'm not going to make that. <laughs> I'm pretty um, sure we'll find out what we're supposed to do if we just wander around. Yeah, given, it doesn't seem terribly complex. Given games like this that I've played, all we're supposed to do is just keep moving forward and killing anything that comes in our path. Um, <laughs> whoa, what, what was I doing there? Did you grind there? that? No, wait, wait, is that intended? Is that what's supposed to happen? That animation looked completely wrong. Um, yeah, I'd like to remind you that this is a demo and it does not necessarily reflect the final product. <laughs> I <laughs> the disclaimer they always give, because yeah. that, that animation was missing, I'm pretty sure. But I wouldn't be surprised if that's how it is in the final version either. I'd be pretty disappointed if that was the case, but maybe... Oh, that thing hurt me. <laughs> um, I got yelled at for opening that box, because it blew up in my face. If the game gives us a box, we're going to open it. Yeah, but I guess those, like, was that purple? Or the, the ones that don't just look like regular boxes blow up in your face. I probably have some kind of range thing. Oh wait, here's the first person. Okay, it's I thought triangle. we went into a cutscene there, but I guess you just found the first person. Yeah, I was I was seeing what Triangle did. Um, cool, I got a helmet, I think. Um, okay. I don't know. This Daxter's voice is really annoying. Oh, that's who's talking. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming that's I forgot we is. had a second character. Yeah, he's like riding on our shoulder. He's no Kazooie. Like, he hasn't, as far as I can tell, he hasn't done anything to contribute yet. 
Um, on the bright side, things that I keep expecting to kill me do not kill me, like falling off of platforms or into water. So that's nice, I guess. I, I, I'm surviving these things uh, that I don't expect to survive. So do you know what the second character is for? What Daxter is used for? Because like I mentioned Banjo-Kazooie, and that game had like pretty strong reasons for there being two characters in it. Um, I, I, I don't know what the gimmick is here, like how he ties into the gameplay. Can we like separate the two and like send Daxter off to flip switches that we couldn't get to or something? That's what like I was that? wondering if the, he serves some kind of like secondary purpose like that. And I was wondering when we um, oh, I hit the exploding box again. I was wondering when we saw the two controls if one was for Jack and one was for Daxter. Uh, but I I I didn't read them enough to get an idea um, because I didn't read them at all. Oh geez, we're dead again. That happened a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> and he no. makes really stupid wise yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we I think that's die. what he's in the game for. He's just here to taunt us. I and heckle you. I don't know. I don't know what I'm I'm jeez. I can't even jump over that box. It's just there to hurt me. Uh, I don't like that box. Um I guess we didn't pick up. We got hurt in rather quick succession without picking up a lot of green things to heal us. And that's why we died so much quicker the second time. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, we got some more Russian eggs. You're gonna die. Oh, wait, you can swim. Never mind. Yeah, I can swim. It doesn't look like you would be able to swim from, like, the layout of the level, but I guess we can get out here to this area. Yeah, there's even, the fish. there's even enemies in here. Big yeah. Bertha got you. Yeah. Oh, uh, good. If you get, if you get eaten by the fish, then there's no quip. Yeah, because he got eaten, too. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's the desired way to die. Oh, wait, there's the egg grab thing. This is what the second set of controls was for. Cool, I can use these to take out those flying around guys. The dirigibles, yeah. I don't know if they're dirigibles. It looked like a dirigible to me. <laughs> it looked fairly yeah. dirigible. It looks dirigible. It looks pretty you dirigible. You could dirige the hell out of that thing. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. And can I take this? Yeah, I can take this onto land and all over the place. Yeah, it's like a hovercraft. Yeah. It, it looks kind of like a plane with this propeller on the front. Um, yeah. It doesn't control I'm not very sure well. the, the propeller serves any sort of engineering function. I, <laughs> I'm not sure... I think it's more of a chopping put... <laughs> blade. Like, you can fly it straight into a pile of vegetables. I don't know how this thing actually is flying looking at it. It just is. It's just Star Wars. It's just Star Wars. It's Star Wars, yeah. Um, I don't... This, this area is really open. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go. Usually in these games, you have, like, a really clear path you're taking. Um... Uh, comparing but, it to something like Crash Bandicoot, sure. Yeah, or even like but, Spyro uh, or other games like that. Um, the majority of 3D platformers I've played have not been like that. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I most of the 3D platformers I've played have been uh, Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. Um, the PlayStation ones I played are all like all feel pretty similar to me. Um, and there are areas like these in like Spyro, not in Crash Bandicoot, but. Uh, in, in Spyro or like the Muppet Adventure or something. The Muppet Adventure. Yeah. Or in uh, the, the the Grinch game. Yeah. That, that one was a real winner. That was just an open area, and that was part of why I found it so frustrating. Because it was just go wherever you want and do the same thing in different places. But this, um, and that's kind of what we're doing here. Like I'm just flying around looking for. At least in the in the Grinch, we knew what our objectives were. No, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, you did. There was like a menu that listed objectives for yeah, you. Yeah, like, I, did, I didn't see it until gave like you points. I didn't see it until I completed one of them, because <laughs> I didn't know it was there. But uh, here, like the objective for this is to take out these these uh, dirigibles or whatever. But um, like we, when we were walking around, I only encountered one, maybe two of them. So that I don't even know why I would want to waste time doing that, because most of them are just out in the water anyway. Um, and, le and I didn't see anything to pick up out there. And yeah. then, like, they still didn't get rid of the one up here. How do I get around this thing? There we go. It seems like a red flag to me that what they decided to show off in the demo was a vehicle section. Like, they seem to choose this area because they wanted you to be able to play around with the hovercraft, but in reality, like, that's going to be a pretty small minority of the game. Most likely. Like, they should have just focused on making the, the like, free-running platforming stuff fun enough that that would sell the game on its own. Yeah, but... But it doesn't seem to be that way. <laughs> um, oh, there was another freaking exploding box! Uh, I can't even... I don't notice them when I see them. They don't stand out very well. Um, they don't even, like, look like a box, really, a lot oh, of times. Oh, what's time that? What's this that, is, Adam? It's, uh, oh, it's a super wanted. egg. <laughs> 
Stargate. Okay. All right. I think that's the. No, it's not the end of the level. Okay. No, because now uh, I have to jump over these. We have no context. We have no clue what we just picked up. Um. Oh. Like the UI didn't even appear to show us that a number had increased. Uh, and we're dead. Yeah, that one was bouncing, so it hit me when I jumped over. Oh, he's gonna ask me to rub his feet it's again. It's the same thing. We've heard that one. Oh, and I'm here. back here. Uh, I didn't even get to a new checkpoint. Did the time of day change, or is that just me? It does look darker. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wonder if that's because I don't actually. I have no idea why that would happen. It's probably just the passage of time and not you actually dying, and we just happen to notice because dying set us back. I'm not sure though. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it certainly I makes it in. harder to tell what's going on. Yeah. Uh, I wonder how many lives we actually have. Um, what was the? There was a button that pulled up everything. Um, is that? Uh, well, we I don't know. Been... I don't know what. Yeah. I don't know which of these represents my lives. None of them seem to. I well, you probably have unlimited lives. Oh, so I'm just gonna play this until I beat the level? That'll take forever. Yeah, I guess so. At this rate. <laughs> um. I don't, I don't at least see, I'm in a new place. I don't see any reason a game like this would need lives. Yeah, I guess that's like, true. I'm just used Crash to having. Crash Bandicoot them. doesn't have a live system, does it? Yeah, it does. It does. Why? Um, so that you can game over and then nothing changes. Exactly. <laughs> like, it, yeah, no, no, you're completely right. You um, when you game over, you just go back to the menu and you have to go back. I guess you lose any checkpoints you hit on a level. If you if you game over, but that's the only that's the only drawback to running out of lives. The levels are so short that that doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah. Don't step into the light, Jack. Don't step into the light. Ugh. I hate this character. Yeah, I do too. I'm willing to give the game the benefit of the doubt and assume that it's a lot better than it appears to be because I know that this is a popular franchise. Ugh, I hit it again. <laughs> but this demo isn't inspiring a lot of confidence for me. No. Um. Let's see. Daxter has his own games, doesn't he? Like, by himself? At least one, yeah. So I, I think we were, we were looking at some other uh, demo discs I have, and I think one of them had a video, or maybe the actual game, of just a Daxter game. Young kids love, like, mascots with what attitude. killed it's, me? It's why Sonic the Hedgehog got so popular, you know? Yeah. So I, I could see a certain demographic really getting into Daxter. It's I don't, just... I don't know how I died that last time. Yeah, I just... I don't know. Like, a black cloud just descended upon me, and then I was lying flat on top of, like, just underneath the surface of the water. Ugh. My, I, like, I, do I have an attack that doesn't jump forward like that? Uh, yeah, I guess this does. I should be using this a little bit more often. Right. My spinny kick. I, just, I wish I could loop the spin kick and just always be spinning. That would be fun. <laughs> so how many green orbs do you need to get before you get a heart piece back? Um, I don't know. I, I was wondering that myself a while ago, but I haven't been able to. It's more than 30, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not, I haven't really deduced yet how the health system works in this game. I haven't been playing, paying enough attention. Um, we Donkey Kong now. Uh, um, I don't know what to do with the bouncing ones. I guess just be on a different side than them. Uh, yeah. I, I, sometimes I can land on them, sometimes <laughs> I can't. It's so... Uh, it feels arbitrary how I di how I'm supposed to jump avoid those. I, I I can't figure out a good system for it. I fell. Oh, the sun is rising. It's lighter now. Yeah, it is. Um, oh, don't use that again. That's not going to take us anywhere. It's so we exciting. Go. You're not making any progress if you're on that thing. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't know what it's. I, how do I get off? There we go. <laughs> um, I just fell down here. Uh, like I assume me. that Donkey Kong area is where we're meant to be going, right? Yeah, but I I can't do it. It's too do you hard. Want me to? It's too hard, Dylan. No, I, I don't want you to. <laughs> okay. I want to. I want to. I'm here if you need me. <laughs> I will always be there for you. I appreciate that. Um, this freaking nitroglycerin box is freaking me out. Um, haven't haven't taken damage yet. That's one thing. Usually, by this point, I've taken at least one hit. <laughs> you shouldn't have, but you yeah. That's yeah, but but I have <laughs> usually. This, this spinny kick is so much fun. I'm not convinced any of those orbs are worth collecting. But they gotta be, they're like right next to the heart piece, they gotta be for something. But, yeah. I haven't done you any good yet. <laughs> no, I gotta figure there's a reason I wasn't dying a whole lot until I got oh. to this point. Why did, uh, I'm used to there being an invisible, Jesus spazzing That out. camera. Um. Wow. Uh, 
What? I died, I think. I think because the camera was stuck, it reset the level. That's... What? That sucks. That's... That was my best run. <laughs> yeah. By which, I mean, I hadn't been hurt yet, but... So you can't double jump or, like, any... You I can. can. Okay. I can. Okay. It's just um, a little hard to time. Yeah. Um, and okay. with those barrels, sometimes you can... Or, they're not really barrels, but with those logs, sometimes you can land on them and jump off. But sometimes when you land on them, it hurts you. That's the thing that's been throwing me off. Yeah, because the spikes aren't on all sides. Oh, there are spikes? I didn't even see them. Wait... Am I completely wrong about that? I was... Why did I fall off? I was remembering there being spikes, but maybe I'm just totally wrong about that. There may be spikes. You can see how much attention I'm paying this right now. Um, I think I'm on the other... Is that the one that... No, no, you're going me? backward. That's where... It, yeah. That's back to the start of the level. Yeah, I th well, that's what I thought. I just wanted to be sure. Oh, oh jeez, I fell. <laughs> I, I, I'm used to having a little, bit of a, a little bit of an invisible wall and not just falling right off of things like this. Uh... That's why I keep doing it. Um, now I'm, I'm not even sure where exactly to go to get back up. I think over here somewhere. There's some kind of. That's probably the fastest way. I, I guess you can just ride on that water wheel, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't seem to get on it really easily. There's our. Yeah, uh, I don't what's think, it? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're intended to be on the water wheel, which is why once again there's no animation for you sliding around on top of it. Yeah. But uh, but I got on it for a second. That's exciting. It's dark again. Yeah. How many days have I been here, <laughs> running through this place? No food. No water. <laughs> well, it's water, water everywhere. But not a drop to drink. But my no, only com no. my only company. This annoying mascot animal. Maybe we drive some sort of sustenance from these green orbs. Every time I think I'm ready to die, he just wakes me up again with his quips. <laughs> just let me die. Oh man. Uh, why? Uh, because <laughs> because I don't feel like I can jump over them, so I I, I like go to the side to. Um, so I get I get where you're coming from. Like given that there's a double jump, my instinct would be to jump to the side and then use the second jump to get back. It doesn't work. That it doesn't way, though. work though. Yeah, because you can't change your direction enough on the second jump to be able to make it back. So I just fall in the water and I'm stuck doing this shit. Uh, I'm going over here. There's a. F there was, this is where the fish ate me though. <laughs> Okay, you I, fought that fish. Good job. Or no, you didn't. Oh, okay. I, I heard him say "sha sha," so I assumed that something was getting what for. Oh my gosh! Did uh, did we run out of time? I'm guessing so. What? Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's the demo. Okay, Jack <laughs> and Daxter: The Precursor Legacy. Everyone. You don't beat it fast enough. You go back to the menu. So okay, that was it. Um, thanks for joining us. This was enlightening. This was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Uh. We played a couple of uh, decent games and then <laughs> yeah. did not finish off so well. I guess if we didn't get enough Jack and Daxter, we could we could always watch the video. But I'm satisfied with our amount of Jack and Daxter. And yeah, so uh, join me next time. Uh, Dylan probably won't be here, but I will be, and I will continue to die for your pleasure. Yeah. Thanks again <laughs> for having me. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, bye, everyone.